The Reverend Jackson has been seen in the courtroom in Brunswick comforting Ahmaud Arbery's mother. The defense attorney for one of the three men on trial said he was concerned the presence of black pastors in the courtroom could end up influencing the jury. A lawyer Kevin Goff represents William Roddy Bryant. He apologized if he offended anyone with what he said last week, but then today again, Goff pushed the same issue, filing a motion with the court. Tark joins us now with more on his possible legal strategy. Well, legal experts not connected directly to this case say Goff's offensive statements, his apology, and the motion he entered today could be part, or part of a much bigger legal strategy. Now, keep in mind, defense attorney Kevin Goff was the only lawyer who decided not to present opening statements on behalf of his client, William Bryan, which could signal that he's preparing to place all the blame on the other two men charged in Arbery's death. We don't want any more black pastors coming in here or other Jesse Jackson, whoever was in was in here earlier this week, sitting with the victim's family. That was defense attorney Kevin Goff last Thursday, leading to this today at the Glen County Courthouse. African-American pastors in larger numbers. We stand here to say that we refuse to allow our place, our role and our responsibility as clergy to be demonically attacked by a defense attorney who utters words that are unthinkable and offensive. If my statements yesterday were overly broad, I will follow up with a more specific motion on Monday, uh, putting that and those concerns in the proper context. And my apologies to anyone who might have inadvertently been offended. Golf apologized Monday for what he said, but he pressed the issue again today, only this time he didn't single out a specific race or nationality. But this morning we did file a motion to prohibit any further conduct that may intimidate or influence jurors and otherwise interfere with a fair trial. I think his legal strategy is to get a lot of attention. Look, Attorney G. Nichols, who is not associated with the case, points out that the motion Goff filed this morning had already been rejected twice by the judge. The motion that he filed this morning had no real legal basis for it, nor did it request anything. You saw that the judge moved straight through it. Once again, what he is doing is, in essence, grandstanding. In a rare move at the start of the trial, Goff decided not to give his opening statements on behalf of William Bryan. Police say Bryan recorded the cell phone video of Arbery's death and assisted the McMichaels chasing Arbery down. Nichols says he won't be surprised when the defense presents their case if Goff and his client will continue to try to separate themselves from the McMichaels by putting all the blame on the father and son. I think as much as anything, it will look like I didn't, I, I had no idea what they were going to do. I didn't want anything to do with this. I can't believe they did this. And because of me, the video and what I did is going to get these two convicted. So don't blame me, blame them. And so I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw that tactic in this case. Nichols says another one of Goff's strategies could be to create enough turmoil leading to a mistrial. The judge today completely ignored Goff when he announced that he's filing this motion. The defense is expected to present their case later next week.